What is up guys? This is Artsky and I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to make automized annotations. I've seen a few on uh, on YouTube, but they require writing codes of text and stuff and no, that's not how I want to do it. I thought of a easier way and I wanted to share it with you guys. And what is that easier way? Um as you can see, I have my program, my video here which I want to put annotations on. There you go. I have my end screen where I have the subscribe and the next, and I want to put my annotations. Uh, I don't want to go through the pro process of doing it all myself. So what I can do is just make a recording, a macro recording. I'll show you what program to use. This is basic uh, Jitbit. They have the macro recorder. Very, very nice little program. You can buy it for $39. The the basic version I bought it I think you can get a, a trial I'm not sure but let's let me show you how it's done so I have this little icon here called annotations that's how you would get it if you pin it to your start but I customized it so it would look like this which makes more sense to me uh, if I press it there you go easy it does it all for me and I'll show you in a second how you do it so it's done. The only thing that I have to change is to put a link to the next video, but I don't have a next video yet, so um, I'll have to wait for that and go back to this video to put it in. That's easy. Then also to change the times. Oh, that's my cell phone. Wow. Sorry about that. And uh, you just put in the times that you want to have it, and that's it. So let's see how it's done. I just go to macro recording that's the software you can simply download it and install it you know the routine well you should know it's just download click next next accept decline all the bloatware that they would try to install on your computer and then you have this screen that pops open you just press record a new macro let's just quickly delete these um previous ones that we just put in you press record a new macro and you do what you have to do place a label onto subscribe or whatever video that you want to have it onto I press my link and my subscribe button I press I type in them cookies it's recording what I'm typing as well so that's really easy to know and I'm going to my next button I place it down here easy link and save now I just stop the recording by pressing this little button here and that's it it pops open gives you a lot of information that you don't really need to look at and the only thing you have to do now is to get it as fast as you just saw it happen go to the settings playback settings and put it on fast so normally it should stand on normal and you just pop it to fast and that's it perfect Press OK. Let's delete the previous ones. And I'll show you if I press play that it will do exactly the same thing as what I showed you earlier, but at a way faster speed. There you go. Done. Easy. That's all that is to it. I just close this up again on the bottom, uh, on the left top corner. And then I save it. I don't save as, I just compile it to exit because that's much easier. Let's put it on the desktop and call it auto. There you go. Oh, there you go, I replaced it, built successful. Let's go to my desktop. Where is it hidden? Where is it hidden? It's on another screen, sorry about that. Is it on another screen? Yeah, it is on another screen, there you go. So it's now in my left top corner and I'll open up my my uh, YouTube video let me just put that away I'll click it and you'll see it just puts in new annotations which I don't really need because I have two already so uh, that's that's pretty much it if you guys are wondering how I did this one here so this these two buttons are the same this one is just a customized tile so for you Windows 8 or 8.1 users that want to know how I customize all of these tiles like for example uh, my Minecraft folder, my Minecraft tile, my games they have all custom tiles uh, I can make a tutorial on that 
Uh, if not, then, well, never mind then. But if you want to see a tutorial on that, just post it in the comments and I'll be happy to do it for you. Uh, this is my first tutorial, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did, subscribe and like, and uh, see you next time. Bye, guys.